So we're off to Kos in the morning. Um, it's a 6 a.m. flight, so it's quite an early one. Um, Flam was jet two out of Birmingham Airport, and we got a text message to say that they're doing twilight check-in. So that was really cool, wasn't it? So we've, yeah, easy. we've just been across, yeah, uh, staying at the Novotel. Um, we're going to take you out and show you it. Um, but we're staying at, right across the road from Birmingham Airport. So we got the tree and off, um, came in, checked in, took our luggage across, did twilight check-in, probably took all of 20 minutes. And that's so, from what, it, half four to nine, nine o'clock. Yeah, so plenty of time to do it. So all we have to do in the morning is just take our hand luggage and go through security. So we are all set. We're going to go down for dinner in a minute. Um, really like this hotel. Really like the common areas. I really like the proximity. Um, of course, there's lots of cheaper options, um, like the Premier Inn and the all those kind of things. But because we got the tree in, we just wanted something really close to Birmingham Airport that we could just walk across to. Oh, nice and easy to do, and we can just relax. We just got to carry on now. So, but we'll show you the we'll show you the restaurant on the you know, around the and the hotel. But <clears throat> when you think you just got to go across the road, the airport's there. Alright, so we'll Catch be you later. Don't forget, see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, so we are at the Novotel at Birmingham Airport, it's right across from the terminal. So handy. This is our room. Have a look. So there's a separate toilet. Uh, yes, just a toilet in there and then I think this is going to be the shower room. Oh, lovely. So either a bath or a shower. Lovely fancy sink. Oops, sorry about the flicker, not sure what's going on there. So I just wanted to show these Rituals, um toiletries which are lovely i absolutely love them and there's the shower it's a big uh rainfall shower and then a separate one that comes off if you just want to do your hair or you just want to do your body whichever way around and then a bath so so it's a lovely it's very stylish uh towels are underneath very nice uh then we've got a family room me and shoe has got this little bed scarlett's got that massive bed just for herself. I sleep uh, in this at home. <laughs> We've got a lovely TV. That's quite a nice TV. Um, tin coffee station. A uh, good bit of storage here. A little mini bar, mini fridge rather than a mini bar. And yeah, a lovely sizable big wardrobe where the safe and a hair dryer. Let's see what's in this side. An iron and iron board and some hangers. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. I think our view is literally. Scarlett, would you climb on and open the curtains? Yeah. Still one room in the bed. <coughs> if they do open, even. The exciting view. I think, I think it's. Oh, it's a rooftop. <laughs> so it's literally, Scarlett, we've just moved to the side. Moved to the side. It's literally a rooftop. Yuck. <coughs> <sighs> but yeah, n nice room. Good size. We've got two windows. Gina, do you want tea? Uh, yes, please. Little bedside table. Uh, lights. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the reading lights. You can... Oh, they're great. I do like those. And then you've got two... USB points and then light switches. It's just quite stylish. I'm not sure what that big thing is. Is that a speaker, do you think? Uh, light. A light, very nice. I mean, location, literally walk across the road to the airport. Yeah, great location, so. Oh, okay. And it wasn't that expensive. It was only 120, mind you. No. We are bank holiday weekend, so it is high season. So uh, that doesn't include breakfast because we're up stupid o'clock. So. Okay, so Birmingham Airport is just behind us, um, as you can see, and then we're going to flick around and show you the Novotel. So that's 
So this is the Novotel. Just spin round and this is how close we are to the airport. Literally, there's a door there that you go through and that's departures. There's a, the, um, what do you call it, Scholar? Uh, the tram, I suppose, that goes to the train station. So it's really, really handy. So we're ready, inside. I'll show you around the Novotel. This is the restaurant. We've gone in in a bit. Just check in. Yeah. Complimentary. Um, just a little seating area. Another seating area, and then over here's the bar. Wasn't me, was it? It's just really quite busy tonight. But yeah, we're going to the the restaurant in a bit. Um, Shall we go and see if our table's ready? Yeah, we'll go and see if we can come. So we're seated at the restaurant right at the front, which is a bit, but we'll see. No pizzas tonight. Soup of the day was tomato and the curry was mango. Who, who wants mango curry? But anyway. So Scarlett's gone for the kids' buffet. Yeah, take a plate. Either. Take a cold one. Um, bit there. Yeah, so Scarlett's gone for the kids' buffet. And it's six ninety five. So there's a noodle, well there was noodles in there. Beans and more beans. Thingy there. And then there's juices here and ketchup and stuff over there. It's alright. It's alright. It's for kids. So the food's just arrived. I thought we'd give you a look. And Stu got a burger and chips, which looks fine. Um, a nice glass of red, Guinness, and well, it's almost been show. So, what's your verdict on your dinner? The, the, the nuggets were nice, crunch to them, weren't they? They were nice quality nuggets. So, this lamb looks delicious. So, I'll let you know how I get on. Do you want to take a bite of your burger, Stu? So I think it's just a standard burger, really. Not really. It's a big one, is it? Oh, well, it looks nice and fresh ingredients. Wow. <laughs> like it? Yeah. Nice. Hopefully, that'll be one of our planes. Just walking along to gate 16. This is a, usually the side we come, that side's all Terry. And Sir, something. And then this is Jet 2. Um, security was an absolute nightmare, as usual, wasn't it? It's just organised chaos. Yeah. And it's so busy. We just feel like we're cattle. And we just <laughs> thought we would breeze through it at six in the morning, but we didn't. We'll do a review in the hotel when we sit down, but it turns out it wasn't as great as we thought because of a lot of noise, but we'll do that in a bit. Yeah. 
different things. Scarlett's doing TikTok, Stuart's going to do an email but I think he's going to join us because oh. once I've got the face on this it won't come off my face, it won't speak to Stuart. Wow, <laughs> she doesn't want to speak to me, I can't believe it. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> just wanted to say uh, about the hotel last night, um, in the end while it's lovely and stylish and all the rest of it and the food looked quite nice, dinner, I thought the kids meal was six ninety five and six ninety five for chicken nuggets and fish fingers and a couple of juices I thought was quite reasonable. It was sixteen ninety five. Yeah. So That's quite not a lot. worth it no. at all. Um at all on on any level <laughs> for anywhere, even at the airport. So anyway, um the army ended up being seventy seven pounds mm. and we only had one glass of wine and one beer. Uh Scott had a Coke the noise in my room. We were in one, two, two. We were above the bar. I didn't realise that that many chairs and tables that they could scrape it across the floor all night long. I was, I was taking a video at like two in the morning, did I say? Yeah. From this noise, it was like a elevator going up and down or some something mechanical coming from the bar. Kept me awake all night. People were walking up and down the corridors with their kids. They didn't care that it was 11 o'clock at night, 5 o'clock in the morning, they were awake, everybody was awake, there was absolutely no sort of... There's no let up. No, no, no it, politeness, no. I can't think of a better word for it, but there, there, was, there was no consideration uh, for other people trying to sleep, so a really, really bad night's sleep. So we've crashed, come back to the hotel, we've had our lunch and we've crashed, we had a lovely afternoon sleep and we've got such a lovely view of the mountains from our room. <laughs> Just to verify, um, we're talking about the airport hotel, this noise and everything was. <laughs> yeah, the airport yeah. hotel. Yeah. yeah, and now we're in the hotel on oh. actual in costs. Didn't say that. Oh, sorry. I think. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so now in costs, lovely and warm, just got ready for dinner. Uh, we'll go and check it out and see what's what. I uh, don't know if we'll video tonight because I'd rather get the lay of the land. Um, yeah, first. find out where everything is and also. Yeah. We can show you guys. And sorry that Stu's not on this video. He's tried several <laughs> we've gotta, times. We've got to work out the And controls. it just wants my face. <laughs> Doesn't want to know. It's like the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.